Come work here, bros. The reason why I came to 343. Um, okay, let me think about that. I know the answer to this. Um. Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't come here for Halo. We're the only studio in the world trying to do something quite as crazy as what <laughs> we're trying to do, in that we've brought all these people from around the world who've never worked together before, put them all in one giant room and give them one of the world's biggest gaming franchises and tell them to go make it. And I guess I kind of heard about that and thought, that's crazy, I want to be part of it. <laughs> For me, it's all about the ending of Halo 3. I had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to change the fate of Master Chief. Everybody here likes Halo. A lot of people like it a lot. I remember taking two days off of work to play Halo 1. The idea of being able to play a part in defining the future of the Halo universe was exciting and terrifying at the same time. I came from feature animation, so to move to games seemed to be like the perfect fit. Everyone comes here from a successful career somewhere else. When I talked with the art director, Kenneth Scott, I asked him, why are you working here? And he immediately answered, for the team. As exciting as the Halo universe can be for somebody who's a big fan of monsters, a big fan of science fiction, big fan of FPSs, it was really the people that I got excited about working with. I love Halo, I've always wanted to work on it, but to be honest, like whenever I found out that Spark was working here, I was in. It's a fact that uh, sci-fi is uh, close to being a way of life to a certain degree. I did not need much time to actually say yes. Our job is not copying the previous Halo. They let us explore. They're very open to suggestion. There's always opportunity to create. We really built the team that I want to work with for the rest of my life. Best team I've ever worked with. So for me, one of the biggest reasons to come to 343 was that I could work on a video game my parents had actually heard of. And I love Halo. I love the stories and the worlds we built. And I think that with all the new technology and techniques that we have at our disposal, uh, I think we have a great opportunity to tell really good stories in a, a really dramatically improved way in Halo 4. When I leave here at night, I'm really jazzed. You know how hard you would judge someone else in the same situation. And so you kind of go, okay. And it just inspires me to do bigger and better things. It's a little surreal at first, and it's definitely um, scary, because I mean, it's like no pressure or anything. There's definitely a requirement to hit the ground running. It's a challenge, but it's an exciting challenge. We're getting there. More to do, but we're getting there. It's like being part of NASA, launching a rocket to the moon. Moving forward, people won't come here just to work on Halo. They'll come here just to work for 343. We're working very hard to finish Halo 4, but longer term we have aspirations to become the best game studio in the world. And I think that is essentially what we're constantly working towards and aiming towards. Um, that I think drives all of us towards success. Is that all right? That's all, that's all we need. Okay, sweet. I'm just going to grab... Uh, Did yeah. you like the rock to the moon? <laughs> I'm, I'm using that for sure. <laughs>